Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to episode number 47 of my Football Manager 2023 European Journeyman Save. We're fast approaching episode number 50 in our fifth nation at the minute on our quest to win every top tier division uh, that's in the European nations in the game. We are currently in Latvia, like I say, our fifth nation, having it already ticked four off the list. We are approaching the end of the season now, and it's been a very, very very good season you can see here that we have in fact won the latvian cup we beat rfs in the final we will go over that shortly we've also reached 50 years old in game <laughs> it makes me feel old i might have to start graying my hair a bit it's gone gray in real life so um but yeah things are very very good we've also now fluent in latvian as well so it didn't take us too long uh to, to to learn latvian but it's our first competition win in latvia is the cup final we've had a bit of a barren spell compared to what we're used to uh so glad to get something over the line we've passed 500 games in management as well uh, which is great uh, but as far as the league is going we'll have a quick glance over it uh before we run through the fixtures that we've had if we have a look at the opt best opt bet versus liga you can see that we find ourselves seven points clear at the top now we've had a very very good run of fortune riga have had a little bit of a bogey team in third place of valmira they've actually done us a solid have valmira in terms of goals look how many goals has been scored between the top two teams 205 between them uh 67 goal difference for us 54 for riga so we've pulled clear in terms of goals as well but those two defeats in a row for Riga have, have really sort of derailed their season. And that's why we find ourselves seven points clear, which is absolutely fantastic. We are guaranteed Conference League football. Today is potentially a title decider as well. If we can win against Riga, that would leave three games left with us 10 points clear. Uh, so only nine available. Uh, but let's have a run through of uh, since you were last here. Last time you were here was a defeat against Riga away from home obviously we're away from home today as well uh, but we took on Alda in the next round a 5-1 win Ostrovic uh, with a double and Alfredino bagged himself a hat-trick in this one which was fantastic uh, we then took on RFS a close game this one 3-2 Banda Alfredino and Beck with the goals for us uh, Koshi Agbenyega with the goals for RFS that was followed up by a comfortable 5-2 win over La Paya. Uh, very, very good performance by the boys. Beck, Pasquale, Banda and Ivanka with the goals. Uh, Vardanyan, who always scores against us. And Kudai Bergen with the other late on for La Paya. Uh, just to cement our, our place towards the top of the table. Uh, we then took on our former side. We were drawn against them in the Conference League qualifying path in Glenarvan. We beat them 6-0 at our place. We we hammered them. But there's some familiar faces still in, the, in this squad. We've got Matthias Nabe, uh, Nabe, Daniel Grace, Antonius Whitlow, Chanchi Fai, Stockton. All players who we brought in other than Chanchi Fai. He was already at the club. Uh, and while we're on the subject of Glenarvan as well, they've picked up another league win since we left them. This is the one that we won in 29-30. Um, but they picked up another one. So we, you know, we've done something good at a club. Uh, but 6-0 there. It was then BFC in the Cup 4th round, a 4-0 win. Glenarvan did beat us 3-2 at their place, but we obviously we were 8-3 winners on aggregate. It was a Tuckums in the league, though, the next game. That was a 4-1 win. Tuckums cut adrift at the bottom of the table. Pereira, who is a new signing, by the way, another Brazilian. Uh, Italio Beck was telling me that he wanted to leave, and he really, really wanted to leave. So I, I panicked a bit, brought in Pereira, but he's he's very good. Uh, he's played eight games in the league, scored seven goals with three assists. So he's he's done okay since he's come in. Um, so he got a double. Perez and Banda with the goals. Uh, Litvinskis with the goal for Tukums. Uh, after that, it was Savina Svezda in the Europa Conference League. We were away from home in the first game. We did get beaten 1-0. They also beat us at our place 3-2. So we were knocked out in the second qualifying round. Not too disheartened, though. Uh, it did help financially a little bit. It put us back in the black. But unfortunately, we just hemorrhage money at this club, so we're back in the red. Uh, Noah, the next up in the league. Beck managed to bag himself four goals in this one. Ivanka with two. Beck has had a fantastic season. He scored 40 goals in all competitions, 33 in the league. He's not the top scorer in the league, though, with 33 goals. Neither is Ivanka with 25. Um, 
there's a player for Lapaya, I believe, who is the top scorer in the league. Uh, but BFC in the league were next up. It was a 2-1 win. Uh, Tarasovs with the goal for BFC before Pasc uh, Pascual and Pereira bagged a late winner. And at this point of the season, we were still pretty much neck and neck with Riga. It was all down to goal difference. We did pick up a very, very good win against Valmira, though. Italio Beck scored in the sixth minute in what was a pretty close game. And we were possibly lucky to get away with uh, with the win. But that kept our march going towards the title. Lepay in the cup quarterfinal 4-2 win. Fantastic. And we, then this is the game that put us clear at the top. Give us a little bit of breathing room. Put us three points clear. Ivanka, Banda and Pereira with the goals for us. Salisu with a late reply for Riga but the damage was already done and it was a, a thoroughly thoroughly deserved victory and that gave us a three point gap at the top Aldo were next 4-0 win in this one Banda, Azevedo, Stepanovs and Pereira with the goals a very very good team performance all round it was then Valmira again in the cup semi-final we thumped them 5-0 for the team who were in third in the league and then we had a little bit of an injury crisis at the club do Rosario, the goalkeeper, uh, was injured for quite a while. And, and our backup is Raus Ozels, who is he's not very good. Really not very good. <laughs> so we had a little bit of a panic there. Now, the first game that he was he played was against Meta. And we were never really going to lose against Meta. Pereira with a double ball here. And Slide with the goals in this one. Although we did leave it late. I said we we're never going to lose. We left it very, very late uh, to pick up the 4-1 win. And then our little wobble happened. We played Lipaya twice uh, and we got two draws. Beck, Pascual with a double for us. Vardanyan, who scored against us again, and Lizanovs grabbed a late equaliser there for Lipaya. Ozils didn't have the best game. We didn't have the best game all round, really, but we dropped points there and we took them on again in the next game. And again, it was dropped points. It was 2 2 in this one, but we had to rescue this one in the 93rd minute. Beck and Banda with Bessers and Kudai Bergen with the goals for Lepaya. Uh, and that allowed Riga to close the gap up a little bit, uh, unfortunately for us. Noah, we're next up in the league. Another close game. Pascual and Beck uh, with the goals after we went one behind from a Safo penalty. But McWhaley, our former player, did pull one back uh, late on for Noah. And it was squeaky bum time again. I thought we were going to drop points again. Uh, but thankfully, we held on. We then thumped. RFS of 5 1 away from home. Beck with two. Ivanka with a hat trick. Frimpong, who always scores against us. Same as uh, Vardenyan does. There's a couple of players who just always score against, but we absolutely battered them in this game and a, a thoroughly, thoroughly deserved win. Tukums were next. 2 1 win. The team rooted to the bottom of the table. Ivanka and Banda with the goals for us. Puzarevskis, our former man, did get one back for Tukums, but we did manage to, I say, hold on. Uh, there wasn't really any holding on to do. Um, we, we dominated the game. It was then RFS again in the cup final, a 2 0 win in the cup final, which is fantastic. It's the first time the Spartaks have ever won the cup. And then just recently, I've taken on BFC uh, Dog of Pills and a 3 1 win at home here. Ivanka with a double and Kube. Ivanka missed a penalty as well for his hat trick. Now, we have missed a lot of penalties this season. We've also had a lot of disallowed goals. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's cost us. Uh, but we could, we could be clear uh, if we if we'd scored a lot of these penalties. We, could, you know, uh, in contrast and fortune to us, if we have a look at Riga's schedule, they are still in European competition, by the way, which is obviously helping us. Um, they did they they lost the game not long after we played them the last time. Obviously, they beat us two one, but they did lose three 0 to Lapaya, which obviously helped us. Uh, that helped us close the gap to get us level on points. They then were defeated by us 3-1 after having been knocked out of the cup. So that was the one that puts three points clear. And they drew with RFS. Now this game here with Valmira. <laughs> Riga were 4-0 up. Tete, Mordotenko and Levaya put Riga 4-0 up at half time. Valmira came back on 1-5-4. Uh, and this is what I'm saying about Valmira being a little bit of a bogey team uh, for Riga. They... I just couldn't believe it when I saw that it was 5-4. They got knocked out in the cup by Valmira as well. So Valmira seemed to have been doing it as a real big favour this season. Uh, they've also just come off the back of a, a defeat to Crystal Palace in the Europa League. 
having again lost to Lapaya, the team who potentially could have taken a title away from us with those two draws in a row, but they've lost back-to-back games in the league, uh, which is why we've got this uh, this big lead at the top, this seven points. And like I say, we can win the title today with a win. So today's game, away to Riga. Hopefully we can uh, we can pull it off. Uh, we're going to go cautious for the game. We know how good Riga are. They are still the best team in the division, without a doubt. Uh, but De Rosario is back from his injury, so he starts today. Kennedy and Kube, Stepanovs and Berker as the back four. Borja and Yanis Ozils comes in in the centre of midfield. Uh, Svetkovs is suspended. That's why Ozils in. Pascual, Banda, Pereira and Ivanka are the front four. Beck, uh, he hasn't actually scored for a little while um, and he is inconsistent as well. He's on the bench though, so we do have the option to bring him on. Right, and we're underway in this potential title decider. Um, it doesn't matter if we don't win today, if Riga beat us, we're still four points clear, you know, with, with three games to go. With it, it, it's still in our hands. Uh, they'd have to overturn that four point and a massive goal difference as well. Uh, so defeat here against Riga is not the end of the world. Uh, they are the favourites. In fact, we're labelled as the favourites for the win today and Ivanka has put us ahead inside the fifth minute which is which is a fantastic start the title could be coming to Spartax for the since not for the first time in their history they've won it twice before in 16 and 17 um, but putting an end to Riga's six-year dominance of the league uh, would be fantastic and that's a great cross and finish by Banda and Ivanka respectively uh, and that's made things that little bit easier that does give us that 10 point cushion at the top uh, but it's third season again, third season again, or two and a half seasons we've been here. Uh, so it seems to be that the, the first full season we get is to build the squad, the foundation of the squad. Second season is to improve that foundation that we've built. Uh, and that seems to be doing the business for us. I said Glenarvan have won the league again as well. I did have a quick look at Bohemians. They also won the league again. They are, they've just won it, I think. Uh, as Kennedy plays that ball forward, Banda gets his head on it and it's, oh, we've hit the post. And we've hit the post. That was really, really good play. Again, by Spartax and piling the pressure on Riga earlier on this game. Kennedy over the top towards Ivanka again, brings down his chest. It's a good save by, uh, is it Amoa in goal for Riga? A fantastic save there to keep Riga in the game. 2-0, I think, would have been um, pretty tough for Riga to come back from. Banda with the corner anyway. It's towards that near post. Osis heads it away, but Kennedy's going to get the second ball. Uh, and that's the end of the highlight. Uh, yeah, Bohemians have, have regained their uh, title. They they didn't win it last season, but they've come back the season after uh, and won it. That's another switch of play towards Banda on the left-hand side. Rendic does get it clear, though. Uh, but Burke is there. Crosses the ball towards Ivanka. Tete heads it clear. Uh, but Pascual's pinched that. Pascual, Yari Pascual, with his 15th goal of the season, makes it 2-0 to Spartax. And it does look like that dominance that Riga have had for six seasons. We're going to stop them winning the seventh in a row uh, is, is coming to an end. And I must say that we've thoroughly, thoroughly deserved it this season. We've lost two games all season. Uh, we've, we're, we're smashing goal scoring records. In fact, we've just beaten it with that second goal. It was 106 goals. Uh, we were on 105 before the game. So we've just beaten the scoring record uh, for the league. I'm wondering if we can beat the points record. Pereira inside the area gets his shot off. Good save. Banders there for the follow up though. The defender blocks it and Amoa clutches it out of the air. Uh, yeah, I had a quick look last season. And Riga, I believe, picked up 96 points to win the title. So maybe the points one's not within our reach. Um, but I'm not really concerned. Uh, not really too concerned about the records. We're just here to win the league. Move on to the next nation, which is Finland. Uh, they are a summer league as well. Their league has just finished. They've also had a dominant team in HJK, but that's just been won by FC Honka, I believe it's pronounced. So Honka have just ended HJK's little spell of dominance that they've had as well. Uh, Riga are not in this game, though, are they? Not in this game, especially if you look at the F XG. Stepanovs with the free kick finds Berka. Stepanovs gets the ball back. Just taking his time. It's all we need to do. It's Ozil's in the middle. Feeding it forward towards Ivanka. Straight away onto Pereira. Another good save by Amoa. I believe it's given offside against Pereira though. Though, In fact, we're going to make a quick substitution. We're going to bring Pereira off. We're going to bring uh, top scorer Beck on. Uh, give him a little bit of a run out at the end of this game. As Berker with the throw in on the left-hand side finds Yanis Ozil. Berker with the cross into the box towards Ivanka. 
Christian Ivanka, 28th of the season, makes it 3-0 to Spartax. And I think that is game over now. There's, there's, there's no way we're going to concede four goals in the next 15 minutes of this game. It's a really, really good play. Ozil's a great cross by Berke. Ivanka, easy finish. Easy finish for the big man. Uh, and we are just, we've just got to wind this game down now. Uh, as Durazario clears the ball long, looking for Beck. Osis wins the header there, but Ozil picks it up. Feeding Ivanka, is this for his hat-trick? Ivanka's in again, one-on-one -on -one with Amoa. Uh, it's a good block by the defender. And it loops up over the crossbar to go for a corner, which is going to be taken by Banda. Banda looking to swing it in towards that near post. It's towards Nkube, headed clear though by uh, Diagne. Uh, and Hol Holovs brings the ball clear for Riga. He's got no support though, he's just running into a corner. Now he's got support. Uh, but Ozil easily cuts that one out. And five minutes remaining for us to become the champions of Latvia. And there it is. There it is. We've come to Riga's ground. Uh, and we have knocked them off their perch. Spartax are the champions of Latvia in an absolutely fantastic display. It's been a great season uh, for Spartax. Uh, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved league victory and we were going to be ticking our fifth nation off fifth nation off which is which is fantastic in our i want to say 13th season possibly 14th um which is not too bad you know where's my i've lost my cursor there it is <laughs> my cursor got lost in all the confetti we're champions though champions again of latvia uh, now we're going to be ticking the nation off uh, off the list uh, once we get to the news items, but it's it's fantastic to knock Riga off off their perch. And obviously, we've I've got three games left to play. I am going to do them, uh, and then I'm going to start looking for jobs in Finland. Now, hopefully, because they're a summer league as well, there's going to be some available straight away. Uh, whereas we've gone from previous nations that are a normal scheduled league to a summer league, and um, there's been no jobs going. Uh, but we are we are the champions of Latvia, which is fantastic. Uh, obviously, that won't happen till the end of the season. Uh, the border happy, great Ivanka. Yeah, we'll send the assistant on that. Uh, so we'll have a quick look at our profile again, and we've now got two competitions. We're up to seventeen total as a manager now. Reputation will increase at the end of the season again. There'll be a financial uh, payment for. That's bar tax to come as well. But here we are with the list. We've got it up uh, and we are ready to tick a Latvia off. Latvia's done. So Finland next. Uh, Finland. Never managed them. a lot of these nations. I have never managed them before. I don't know what the league rules are. Anything like that. So we've got Finland, Slovenia, Slovakia and Poland to come. We're sort of like the eastern block of Europe coming up before we head back to Scandinavia with Sweden. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a absolutely fantastic season for us uh, so far if we have a quick look uh, at the the finish league we'll quickly do it in here i think that's probably the easiest way to do it um quick look at the finish league fc uh, fc honker like i say have won the title this season 51 points doesn't seem like a lot to win the league that was 51 the season before uh, that's all i'm going to be able to see though it's the only two seasons i've had the league loaded so 51 points by the looks of it to win the league uh, which, like I say, doesn't sound like a lot, but HJK, you can see, have been uh, the pretty dominant force for the last five seasons uh, and when we first sort of started the game as well. Honker have been in there, Coops have been in there as well, but I believe Coops, no, they finished third. I thought they got relegated. Uh, now I'm going to butcher a lot of the names in Finland. Uh, I'm just going to stick to their their, uh, their three-letter <laughs> acronym, uh, if you were. Uh, but Vasan Palosuera yeah don't know hjk is another one it's uh helsinging yeah yeah i'm not even gonna try it's hjk <laughs> um but that's that's gonna be it guys we we are the champions of latvia uh, i'm gonna start looking for jobs in finland i'm gonna finish the rest of the season off in latvia first though uh, and then possibly resign depending on what happens uh but off to finland off to scandinavia we need to wrap up warm for that one uh but thanks guys for watching as always please remember to hit that thumbs up button hit that like button if you like what we're seeing we've ticked off five nations now uh, which is great uh, but i'll see you all in the next episode uh, so cheers for watching guys and i'll catch you later